What's up guys, Peyton here, and today I've got my first tiny whoop, um, Poke FPV, it's the Poke FPV Aeris tiny whoop, uh, from, you can get it on Amazon.com, I'll link it in the description, uh, but it's a tiny whoop, it's based off the E010, uh, platform, and it's got the E010 frame with the canopy that you screw in, um, yeah, so that's, that's what it's based all around, and I'll be showing you the components and what, what ended up happening to the Poke FPV Tiny Whoop and what I transformed it into the Tiny Hoover. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Poke FPV um, and Amazon for giving me this uh, this awesome little Tiny Whoop. And I want to say thank you to uh, Re West Coast Drone Racing League. Uh, I got this from, as a prize from one of their events, uh, their second indoor series event. So that made this video possible. Thank you guys. So this kit comes with the uh, a generic, like, cheap toy radio. Um, yeah, I think they have versions that c you can get from other places, not Amazon, that connect to Free Sky, which I run, but I didn't get that version. I just got the one with the controller. Um, and then also, it doesn't come with goggles, but you can hook them up to uh, your Fat Sharks or any other... Uh, five. It runs on 5.8. It's got an all-in-one camera right here. Um, yeah, so basically, I took it out, flew it for a couple hours, uh, put some packs through it, and then the frame broke, and, uh, I actually won this tiny Hoover frame from, uh, the West Coast Drone Racing League, and it was, I thought it'd be a good idea to transform it into a tiny Hoover, so that's what I did. It, so it did, it did fly pretty good, uh, as a tiny whoop, it does it does have more punch even with the extra weight of the camera than a stock E zero one zero, because it has upgraded motors and an upgraded flight controller. But I'll explain that later. So the parts that came on this tiny whoop is it's got a twenty five milliwatt uh, forty eight channel all in one camera. I'm pretty sure it's just the E uh, one of those stock E machine ones or whatever. It's running a dipole antenna on top. Um, this, these aren't the stock E010 motors, they are upgraded motors, I don't know the KV or anything really about them, um, and also the battery, the one that comes with the E010 is 150 milliamps, this one's 200 milliamps, um, yeah, and the flight controller, uh, on the E010 you have to solder everything on, this one it's easy motor replacement if you, like, break one or something because it's just a little connector, um, here's your antenna right here, I did solder on a battery lead because this uh, connector just stuck out on the bottom and this lead doesn't reach that far uh, so that's what I had to do to make it a tiny hoover also I put extensions on the on the motor wires right there and I had to put extensions on the uh, on the battery lead going to the all-in-one camera so to charge the battery I uh, I figured out which one's positive and negative and just soldered this to an XT30, uh, the female XT30, so that I can charge it on my smart charger. And I charge it at 1 amp, which is 5C, and it, that thing charges in like 8 minutes. So it, it runs for maybe uh, 2 or 3 minutes as a tiny whoop, and then I charge it for 8 minutes, and then it's ready to go again. The battery does get hot when it when it discharges, or not, not it doesn't come totally cool, but... Uh, no, not a big problem. So basically, to uh, start it off, uh, as a as the tiny Hoover, <clears throat> you just it y there's no custom there's no custom software needed or anything because you can't program the E zero one zero board or the upgraded Poke FPV board. Um, basically, you just put the back motors in and you put the front motors in and then just put the flight controller underneath and then calibrate the accelerometer. It doesn't matter if it's crooked or anything. And to calibrate the accelerometer, you just turn on the remote, plug this in, and then you put the throttle down here to the bottom. Okay, so you calibrate that, and then you put the throttle down at the bottom left, and then it starts blinking like that, and then it's it, then it's uh, it, the accelerometer is calibrated and it's ready to go. And then next, what you need to do, the channel selecting is kind of weird on on this uh, all-in-one camera 
So I'm running the Trudy here. Wait for that to boot up. And get that in focus. I just search all the channels. And then it'll go through its bands. And it finds A8 is the strong band. And then that's what it looks like. There's the feed in there. Yeah, and so basically, uh, to mount all the electronics, the motors just uh, come out just like that. Um, all of them, they just use press fit in the camera. I just put some hot glue there and a uh, battery strap. They're, the battery's supposed to fit through right here, um, but that's for the 150 milliamp or a tiny whoop like stick battery, um, which the E010 doesn't run. Also, there's four holes right here. I don't know if you can see that. One, two, three, four. That's for like a, a normal, like tiny whoop flight controller, uh, like the normal size, not the easier ones. So I had to use some hot glue to hot glue there and there, and that holds it in like rock solid. So that's that's all good. It runs really good. Um, I'll be including some DVR at the end of this video. Um, I'll show. I th I can't remember. I think I have DVR of of the tiny whoop, uh, like just like this, and uh, and I for sure have DVR of the of the tiny Hoover. So I'll include some DVR of the tiny whoop and some DVR of the uh, tiny Hoover, and uh, you guys can decide if what you'll do with yours if you'll transform it or not. For the tiny whoop, the punch is actually pretty good for a brushed system. It's uh. It's, it's what you'd expect for, like, a pretty top-the-line brushed, brushed whoop. Because, like, it does have upgraded motors. It does run really well. It's not the cheapest, I guess, because it's got... it's It doesn't connect to Free Sky, and it's, like, 60 bucks uh, US dollars, which which is... gets up there a bit. But the canopy is really nice, how it all just... It just comes like this, and it's ready to roll. It also does come with spare propellers, but with these prop guards, you rarely break propellers. And uh, it also comes with it comes with the charger, which I made into the XT60 adapter, or not XT60, the XT30 adapter, so that I can run it off my smart charger. I'm gonna flash some DVR on the screen showing the tiny Hoover, but uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, have a good one.
I want to add at the end of the video that I do run a 3D printing and design company with Aaron Liu from Burnaby. Um, and we do, we, we could make a tiny Hoover frame if you, if you want that because it is made out of PLA uh, 3D printed material. Let's see how it's just like that. And we can print with that. Also, I want to add, uh, to get excited for future videos, hit that notification bell and subscribe to, uh, because I will be reviewing this, which is a uh, brushless tiny whoop. Uh, Flex RC is giving me some stuff so that I can build up a Myra frame. And this, this uh, little whoop is just a tad bigger than the brushed whoop. So that would be fun to compare because it's just a tad bigger. And it's running, uh, it's running 20,000 kV motors, and it's 0703 Racer Star motors, and they are tiny. So something to get excited about. Please like and subscribe. Bye, guys.